Have you found any figs, Josh? Nothing. Only leaves. I can't find any figs. This tree seems to be barren. I'm coming down. Climb down slowly, Joshua. Look what we have for you, John. Wow, figs! Did I hear somebody say figs? Wow, these are so sweet. Thank you very much. Where did you get them from, Mister? You have to thank Uncle Yesh. Praise God, for he's the provider. Well, I have a parable for this situation. The parable of the barren fig tree. Are you interested, children? Yes, Uncle Yesh. Go ahead. One day, Jesus was preaching to a very large crowd when some of them told him about some Galileans killed by Pilate. Do you think that because of Galileans suffered and died today, they were worse sinners than all other Galileans? Or those 18 who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them? Do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others living in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all perish just as they did. Listen carefully to this parable I'm telling you. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it and found none. So he said to the gardener, See here, for three years I have come looking for fruit on this fig tree, and still I find none. Cut it down. Why should it be wasting the soil? He replied, Sir, let it alone for one more year, until I dig around it and put manure on it. If it bears fruit next year, well and good. But if not, you can cut it down. What does this parable tell us, Uncle Yesh? Before I explain this parable, let me ask you a few questions. When you are answering an exam in school, can you take as much as time as you want? No, there's a time limit given. So what do you do? An easy task if we had used the time before the exams wisely to prepare for them. We at least know about our exams beforehand. However, we don't know when we will be called back to the Father's home. But during this time we are given on this earth, we need to use the God-given gifts like our talents, family, support, money and education to bring about good in this world. And we must not wait for tomorrow. Can you please explain the parable a little more, Uncle Yes? Sure, John. In the parable, the honor represents God, our Father. The fig tree represents us and the fruits are our thoughts, deeds and words. Before we encountered God, we may have made many mistakes. The gardener represents Jesus who pleads on behalf of each of us. He pleads for more time and by digging around the tree, he means inspiring us with knowledge and faith. Are the fruits which he speaks about the one found in Galatians 5.22 Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control? You are right, Esther. God wants us to grow in these heavenly virtues. He also saw the salvation of others as fruit to be harvested by us. Through our good words and deeds, we can bring others to God too. Wow, Esther and Uncle Yesh, you truly inspired me. Remember, like the gardener, Jesus pleads on our behalf and makes every effort to give us all the help we require to bear good fruit. So let us focus on the grace God gave us through Jesus Christ, His Son, His Spirit, His Holy Word and His people. Come then, thank God for His presence in our lives and ask Him to help us to leave our sinful ways and bear more fruit for the kingdom. <laughs>